Breaking on 4 News now at 6. Two wildfires are burning in eastern Washington. We're live at the scene of the Snyder Road fire, burning just half an hour away from Spokane. Dry conditions and high winds are creating critical fire weather conditions for the firefighters. I'll show you when the winds are going to be dying down and tell you about more heat on the way. Hear what women are doing in the Inland Northwest to break back into the workforce in a 4 News Now special report. You're watching 4 News Now at 6. We start with breaking news. Two separate fires are burning west of Spokane. Thanks for joining us. I'm Aaron Luna. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. Both of the fires closed parts of I-90 for a time. Dispatchers say the wildfire burning near Ritzville, about an hour west of Spokane, is now under control. The second fire is burning in Lincoln County, near the town of Fish Trap, just a half an hour from Spokane. A fire is prompting level three evacuations, which means go now for people in the Tyler area. According to fire officials, multiple structures are in danger. 4 News Now's Allison Martinez is there tonight. And Allison, what's the latest update? I'm here at the fish trap exit currently where the wildfire has been burning throughout this afternoon, though things have really calmed down quite a bit since we first got here. There hasn't been too much active movement uh, since we first arrived. Um, you can see, however, that there is smoke that is blowing on either side of I-90, which has been open for uh, for quite a while now, both sides now. Uh, Lincoln County Fire Department urges you to stay focused while you're on the road. Make sure that you're not getting distracted by all of the smoke that is coming this way. Now, uh, here are the most important updates that you need to know at this given moment. Uh, Lincoln County Fire Department says that the fire progression has stopped. So that's really the key takeaway here. Progression has stopped. Evacuation orders, however, are still in place. Um, they could, uh, DNR says that these will be lifted as we go throughout our evening, but at this current current moment they are still in place and we'll keep you updated as we move throughout this evening there are uh, is no threat to any structures or uh, sorry no harm has been done to any structures at this point as well but we'll keep you updated back to you guys in the studio Allison Martinez for news now Allison thank you and a fire weather warning is in place for eastern Washington for very dry and windy conditions and that's why today was declared a weather alert day by our team of weather experts chief meteorologist Chris Crocker joins us with those fire conditions Chris. Well, and it is such good news to hear that firefighters are getting a handle on those fires because right now the weather is not cooperating. We are under a weather alert day because of those critical fire weather conditions. And that weather warning goes until 11 o'clock tonight it is a combination of very dry conditions and the gusty winds. We are experiencing wind gusts around the region in excess of 30 miles per hour in some locations, but it is especially windy right through the I-90 corridor from Spokane right on into the Moses Lake area and that takes us right over those fires in progress. Here's a look at the timeline for those fires as they die down this evening. Here's 11 o'clock this evening. Forecast wind gusts already less than 20 miles per hour in most locations and those will continue to decrease through the overnight. Expect a much calmer day tomorrow. It is still dry across the region and that is one thing we are not going to remedy although the relative humidity values will improve as we cool off nicely tonight down into the 50s for over overnight lows, there is a lot more hot weather in the forecast. Here's a look at your evening planner, 80 degrees at seven o'clock and it'll stay windy through the evening, starting to die down by 11 and we'll be in the 60s already by 11 o'clock. One more cool night and then another warming trend in the forecast. I'll let you know how hot it is going to get in just a few minutes. Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. And more updates on the way tonight on the fires for your most up to date fire watch coverage down Download the 4 News Now app and turn on notifications so that you can receive these important alerts sent straight to your phone. It was a tree falling on a power line that sparked the fire that destroyed the town of Malden. It's been three years since then, and the town continues to rebuild. Now, Avista is making changes as well. The power company is working to prevent future wildfires and keep homes safe. Crews are upgrading power lines for dry weather conditions to prevent the spread of wildfires. Fires that start outside of our system and potentially could impact wooden poles and burn and affect customers' reliability. And we're concerned with that, and so we harden our system to prevent that. The second thing is you can have debris, tree limbs that can be uh, blown into our system, especially during windy days. 
During the fire safety mode, Avista says the lines stay out until crews determine it's safe to turn it back on, which could require more time to restore power but reduce the fire danger. Avista says crews are ready to help you with power outages and vegetation removal. You can find more information on our website, kxly.com. A Soap Lake, Washington man convicted of child rape more than 20 years ago has pleaded guilty to producing child pornography. According to court documents, 48-year-old Michael Gene Rice used his phone to record an 11-year-old under his care engaged in sexually explicit acts. Rice's victim in 2002 was also an 11-year-old. His sentencing is scheduled for October 11th. Still no end in sight for drivers who use Freya Street on the South Hill. The city of Spokane says work will continue into this week at 13th and Freya. They're repairing several water main breaks and the road on top of those pipes. Drivers had had have had to detour around the area since last Wednesday. The city had planned to replace those old pipes in the near future, but move the project up when the water main break created a sinkhole. Two crashes on Pines Road in Spokane Valley left one person dead and two people in the hospital. Late Saturday night, Washington State Patrol says 20-year-old Beau Pierre was riding a motorcycle southbound on Pines when he collided with an eastbound car at 8th Avenue. Pierre died at the scene. Investigators say he was going too fast. The driver of the car was taken to the hospital with injuries. Then Sunday afternoon, Washington State Patrol says a 49-year-old man was riding his bike on Broadway when he was hit by a pick. Up. Investigators say the driver of the truck was 47-year-old Kevin Kinney. They say he made a left-hand turn at the intersection of Pines and Broadway, hitting the cyclist. He did appear in court today on a charge of vehicular assault. The cyclist was taken to the hospital. A 16-year-old girl was arrested by Spokane police yesterday for assaulting an officer at Riverfront Park. Police say the suspect has, was seen fighting another teen and an adult who tried to intervene. SPD says officers saw the suspect holding a knife, which she dropped before trying to run away. Police caught her. Then they say she kicked one of the officers who was arresting her. The teen was booked into the Spokane County Jail for fourth degree assault, assaulting a police officer and unlawful handling of a weapon. We are 15 days away from Spokane's primary election, and tonight crime, homelessness, and public safety are headlining the election this year. Mayoral candidates are still campaigning, hoping to secure your vote as ballots are arriving in the hands of voters. Our Jordan Smith spoke with several candidates about these issues, pressing for their plan to fix these issues. Jordan. Well, public safety at the forefront, as you mentioned, of, vo of voters' minds, and are the cornerstones of these candidates' campaigns as well as homelessness and the police shortage that's handcuffed at SPD. I spoke with three of the five candidates running for office on what the solutions to those problems look like. Crime and homelessness are the pillars for each candidate's campaign this year, including incumbent Mayor Nadine Woodward, who campaigned on these very issues four years ago. Both issues have persisted during Woodward's time in office. Her administration has implemented new safety initiatives, cracking down on public drug use, sit and lie ordinances, and ramping up police presence downtown, even instituting the Violent Crimes Task Force one year ago. And they have arrested 150 prolific and violent offenders, built stronger cases against them so that they can get longer sentences. She pointed to the police staffing shortage as a critical need to be addressed, with SPD in need of about 100 new officers, a top priority should she be reelected. My number one priority is an effective response to homelessness. Woodward's opponent, Lisa Brown, is putting her focus on helping the homeless population that rose by roughly 30% in the past year. And we see all these resources, law enforcement and otherwise, moving homeless people, but not really effectively transitioning them into treatment or behavioral health response and ultimately into stability and housing. As for crime, Brown wants a more structured response from police dispatching them to crimes in neighborhoods rather than mental health crises downtown. Candidate Tim Archer, a conservative endorsed by former Sheriff Ozzie Knezovich, is pushing for high barrier shelters, saying low barrier shelters are ineffective. And what a low barrier shelter does is it gives them a respite in the middle of their problem to recover of sorts and then to go out and engage in their addiction or their criminal activity again, as opposed to a high barrier model where they need to make a behavioral commitment. And as for a public safety plan, Archer wants to see less government overreach in police departments and restore the tools that they need to effectively deal with crime. The primaries are on August 1st, and all of the candidates say go out and vote. In studio tonight, Jordan Smith, 4 News Now.
Jordan, thank you. Up next on 4 News Now, construction workers are carving out the space for a brand new middle school in South Spokane. And the record-breaking heat has everyone, including wildlife, itching to take a dip. This weekend's viral video from a Spokane park and what to do when your local pond is turned into a private swimming pool next. Four News Now on your time with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Four News Now is brought to you by the Cal Superstore in Airway Heights. The Move Fitness Gyms are on the move. Let's go! With everyone getting ready for summer and a new gym opening soon in Spokane, there's never been a better time to join. This is the beautiful Nissan Rogue. Check it out. Futuristic front, spacious interior, and a functional rear hatch. But beauty is only part of why we know you'll love this SUV. There's a full package of advanced technology, a customizable digital 12-inch dashboard, the parking split screen, and check this, Wi-Fi connections for up to seven devices. The Nissan Rogue is a great SUV, and our friendly dealership is a great place to test drive one. Just off Highway 95, Coeur d'Alene Nissan. With prices of natural gas and propane skyrocketing, your heating bill is getting out of control. But before you turn down the heat, give the experts at Bill's Heating and Air a call. They have the latest in dual fuel technology to keep your family comfortable and utility bills low. And there's never been a better time to upgrade because now every furnace purchase comes with a free heat pump. So call Bill's Heating today to get your free heat pump while supplies last. I have the strongest connection right now with her. My relationship is more real than theirs. Now I'm gonna assert my dominance today. <gasps> Things are so awesome since my family got a rewards earning Casasa checking account from Canopy Credit Union. We have a cash back account that pays us back 4% on up to $300 worth of debit card purchases. That's up to $12 deposited into our account every month. You know what that means. More toys, more playtime, more fun. Woohoo! Canopy is putting treats back in the budget. Learn more at canopycu.com. Limits and conditions apply. This summer, happiness is a new Chevy. If you, see sunshine, you can go farther, tow more, and bring along everyone you love. Your road to happiness begins in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab LT Turbo Max pickups or get 4250 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. It's out with the old, in with the new in South Spokane. What you're looking at here are crews tearing down the old Sacagawea Middle School. A new school will open just west of here this fall. And the old building was home to students for almost 63 years, opening its doors in the fall of 1960. Construction crews took down one part of the building already, and it will take just a few more weeks to complete. Sacagawea is one of two new middle schools that will open in South Spokane this fall. Here's a good way to stay cool. If you look real close down in the middle of the pool, pond I should say, a <laughs> moose took a swim in the pond at Manitou Park. We shared this video Sunday. That moose finally left the area. Nine o'clock Sunday night. Stayed in there for quite some time. It was a pool for the moose, right? It was a moose pool. <laughs> we could be seeing a lot more of that. The weather's hot and dry for the next week. And I know Chris has been saying not a drop of rain in nope. sight. Mm -mm. Washington Fish and Wildlife is asking people to stay back from wildlife for your safety. Our Peter Choi is live at Manitou Park tonight and tells us when getting too close can become dangerous. Yeah, Aaron Kirsten, it's something we don't see every day. The young moose was having the best time for nearly 12 hours in this pond right behind me. I spoke to Fish and Wildlife Department today who tells me 25 yards is as close as you, as, uh, you should get to wild animals, especially ones as big as a moose. On a quiet Sunday morning, an unusual guest dipping her ears in the water. So that's something you don't see in Chicago every day. The young moose finding ways to cool down, just like everybody else. You need to be quiet because she can still hear you. Sorry. Through the years um, in the neighborhood, I would say I've seen them three times. 
Stacy Layman with the Fish and Wildlife Department says moose are heat sensitive animals, so when they see water, they will likely take advantage of it. She said a fully grown moose weighs between 800 to 1,000 pounds. So the main thing we do is tell you to keep your distance, and the rule of thumb is 25 yards, so about 75 feet. There are obviously people a lot closer than that yesterday. Um, the thing about that is if a moose decide to get out of that pool or that pond and run at you, uh, chances are you're not going to be able to keep up. When you see a moose in your backyard, give it a space and wait until fish and wildlife officers arrive. It's, it's a great joy for the little kids. You know, you always alert the neighbors that have little ones and say, well, keep your distance, but enjoy, you know, a safe distance. And most importantly, do not try to feed or pet them sent me a video of a gentleman actually feeding a moose out of his hand and then he was petting it with the other hand and that is extremely concerning yeah. because yeah. W once he runs out of food yeah. you know if the moose wants more and gets angry you know you don't know what he's going to do. Layman says providing an easy access to food resources could lure mooses back to your neighborhood. Make sure to put a leash on your dog when you see a moose outside. Not anybody to be hurt by a wild animal and then we also don't want to have to put down a wild animal uh, because it injured somebody. And that's why it's better to take a picture than take your chances. Now, if you see your moose near your house, a Fish and Wildlife Department says to call them right away. That number is up on your screen right now. And that way, the officers can keep track of them and step in if the situation gets dangerous. Live at Manager Park, Peter Choi, Fortnish Now. I love that story. Thank you, Peter. Much cooler day today. In fact, 15 degrees cooler than yesterday. The one thing helping firefighters, 82 the high in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. It was only in the 70s in Pullman and St. Mary's as well as Winthrop. It's heating up in the seven-day forecast. I'll let you know how hot it's going to get after the break. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. Har, family owned since 1930. Go where the builders go. What are you gonna build? Set summer in motion with the most electrifying Honda vehicles yet. Like the CRV and the Accord, both with available hybrid powertrains. Designed to deliver more thrilling performance and more innovative tech. Make every adventure more electrifying with Honda. The most awarded brand in car and driver 10 best history. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. When you want new carpet, luxury vinyl plank, or hardwood, you need to feel and see it. Hear what people say about the selection at Carpet Barn. I was thinking, you know, my biggest choice was color. No, there's way more than just choosing color when it comes to carpet. Their selection is fantastic, and I love the fact that they buy in bulk and then you get a real good price. They really know what you want, even if you don't know what you want. Carpet Barn, designer selection, warehouse prices. Well, looks like our surgery patient is feeling better today. Yep, I didn't need any oxy today. I thought I'd do a little surgery on the drain. Huh. Do you need your pain pills anymore? No. Well, we should get them out of the house. There are places to drop them off. Yeah, okay. Actually, I can do that right now and I will look at the drain. Prevent opioid misuse. Find safe medication return options near you. It's time to replace your old tub with a new shower, but you don't want the hassle or the worry of getting it finished. You just wanna pick a style and relax, knowing that it'll be wonderful when it's done. Is that too much to ask? No, actually it's not. Rebath, from start to stunning. Call us or visit Rebath.com and save $750 off your tub or shower replacement. Welcome to the Summer Roundup this week at Cal. Over 300 rigs have been strategically priced low, and $44 down is all you need. We're not horsing around with these special buys. This week at the Cal Superstores in Airway Heights, Spokane, and Coeur d'Alene. It is a weather alert day and with good reason. Critical fire weather conditions, very gusty winds, as well as the dry conditions. Our temperatures have been 
a big help. We're in the 80s. We're going to have the coolest night tonight that we have had in almost a month. Here's a look at our fire weather warning until 11 o'clock tonight for the area shaded in pink on your screen. Basically, most of eastern Washington under that fire weather warning. Wind speeds right now 23 miles per hour in Spokane. It's also windy in Coeur d'Alene and Moses Lake. 21 mile per hour sustained winds. Wind gusts in the 30 could be as high as 40 mile per hour range yet this evening before things begin dying down any time now we're going to start to see those winds dying down and then they will become much more uh, uh, die down much more rapidly once we get past sunset. Here's a look at our live conditions 79 right now in Coeur d'Alene. We have been uh, enjoying much cooler weather behind our cold front, even though it's coming along with the winds. Air quality has been in the good to moderate range. I know a lot of people are smelling smoke around the Spokane area, but already we're starting to see that clearing out. 52 for an overnight low tonight. Again, that's the coolest weather we've had in the month of July. You have to go back to the 23rd of June to find a temperature cooler than that. Winds will be decreasing. We are going to kick off another warming trend tomorrow, 84 tomorrow. That is two degrees below average, but that's just the beginning. And winds southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Cold front moving to our east, the coolest air to our north, and that is going to continue to make its way to the east. Tuesday, Wednesday, we really start heating up again, and we're going to be back into the upper 90s, perhaps the warmest weather of the season so far by the time we are into Thursday and Friday, heading into the upper 90s. Overnight lows tonight. Enjoy 40s and 50s around the region, 46 in Colville, in the 40s in Winthrop, Moscow Pullman, St. Mary's, 52 in Spokane, and 49 degrees in Ritzville. High temperatures tomorrow will be right around average, if not just a little bit below. We'll be in the 80s in most locations, just barely in Sandpoint and Coeur d'Alene. Then the heat returns. We're back into the 90s Wednesday, upper 90s Thursday and Friday, staying in the 90s for the weekend and into early next week. And look at all of that sunshine. Wish this were a slot machine. I think I'd win something. Overnight lows down in the 60s by the time we're into the end of the week. So this may be our one night of decent sleeping weather. The heat will return. Aaron. Chris, thank you. Up next on 4 News Now with the presidential race off and running, we'll show you which candidates are pulling ahead and who's trailing behind. Plus, as the suspect of the Gig Gilgo Beach murders enters a not guilty plea, investigators' search for evidence continues. What police found at the suspect's home? Up next on 4 News Now. Download the 4 News Now app today. My parents started their first dealership in Coeur d'Alene in 1983. They took pride in being locally owned and work hard to help this great community we call home. Now, three generations later, we're still proud to be one of the last locally owned Subaru dealerships. And we're working harder than ever to give back to the community that has supported us all these years. Because we're looking forward to being your local family Subaru dealer for generations to come. Tomorrow, things are getting very pink on GMA. So cool. With Margot Robbie, Ryan Gosling, and the cast of Barbie in the ultimate Barbie cast interview. My heels are on the ground. Tomorrow on... Good, Good morning, morning, America! America. Get ready for the momentous summer sale event at Adams Tractor. For a limited time only, we're slashing prices on top-of-the-line Toro and Gravely mowers. Whether you need a residential, commercial, zero-turn, or walk-behind mower, we've got you covered. And the savings? They're out of this world. Enjoy discounts of up to $1,500 off. Don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to transform your lawn. Visit Adams Tractor today and make your summer momentous. Adams Tractor, your trusted partner for all your lawn needs. As state senator, Lisa Brown increased taxes by $2 billion while raising her own pay. 
Under her watch, homelessness rose by 25,000. Now she's backed by the defund the police crowd. Lisa's soft on crime, hard on taxpayers. I pledge to increase police presence and tackle homelessness, and we have. Our Violent Crimes Task Force has lowered crime rates, and we're compassionately addressing homelessness. We're exceptional, Spokane. I'll keep it that way. I'm Nadine Woodward, and I approve this message. What's in a name? A question that has never had more relevance. First American Title has been rebranded to Flying S, Title, and Escrow. Since 1905, we've been helping people protect their property rights. When the time comes to choose a title insurance and escrow company, the choice is clear. Flying S, Title, and Escrow. Idaho's longest operating, family-owned title and escrow company is now Flying S, Title, and Escrow. We're not new, but our name is. Welcome to the Summer Roundup this week at Cal. Over 300 rigs have been strategically priced low, and $44 down is all you need. We're not horsing around with these special buys. This week at the Cal Superstores in Airway Heights, Spokane, and Coeur d'Alene. 4 News Now is brought to you by the Great Northwest Gathering Auto Show. The race for the White House is in full swing. Former President Trump remains the front runner for the Republican nomination as fellow candidates ramp up visits to early primary states. Trump's nearest competitor, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, is still lagging behind. ABC's Justin Finch explains what we're learning from the latest campaign financial filings. A new campaign approach for Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. We obviously are going to do a lot more work and, and get a lot more done. ABC News has learned that DeSantis' campaign has cut nearly a dozen staffers and is pausing investments in battleground states as it sharpens its focus on decisive early primary states. New campaign financial reports show the governor's team raised nearly $20 million, but spent nearly $8 million in just six weeks. Records show former President Trump out-earning DeSantis in second quarter fundraising at more than $35 million. Sources also telling ABC News that DeSantis' campaign is realizing it may have miscalculated Trump's popularity. Meantime, with his commanding lead over his rivals in the polls, Trump suggesting on Fox News that he may skip his party's first presidential debate. Why would you let somebody that's at zero or at one or two or three, you know, be popping you with questions? Rival Chris Christie pressing Trump. I'm happy to say right now, come on, Donald. Get on the stage and defend your record. Across the aisle, campaign filings show President Biden well ahead of his Republican challengers, reporting $72 million raised for his reelection. Both parties could find a threat from No Labels, a bipartisan group that's aiming to build support from Republicans and Democrats with centrist policy. The problem is the American people are not buying what the two parties are selling. And No Labels kicks off his U.S. tour with a town hall in New Hampshire, featuring former Republican Utah Governor John Huntsman and Senate Independent Joe Manchin, who has not ruled out a White House run. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington. There's a new search for evidence in the case against suspected Gilgo Beach serial killer Rex Heuerman. The 59-year-old is behind bars, facing first-degree murder charges and the deaths of three women. His defense attorney entering a not guilty plea. Police have been removing possible evidence from his home, including more than 200 firearms. Authorities are trying to determine whether he might be linked to six other Gilgo Beach murders that remain unsolved. Investigators say they use cell phone records and a distinctive vehicle allegedly tied to one of the murders to reduce the pool of possible suspects from thousands to dozens. It was very important to get this person off the streets. NYPD official tells ABC that Hewerman's DNA has been entered into a database for police to check whether he may be connected to other murders or missing persons cases around the state. Women in the Inland Northwest are breaking back into the workforce. Hear how they're navigating the post-COVID job search in a 4 News Now special report coming up at 6.30. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Rough day at work. It's about to get a lot worse. You didn't plan on a disaster, but you have a choice on who restores it. Choose the best. Wind, fire, water damage, and more. Tell your insurance company you choose Burke's Restoration. You've been hearing about it, and now we've got it at Post Falls Volkswagen, the ID4 electric SUV. This SUV has a space warranty technology that buyers want at a price that's competitive. 
The ID4 was engineered to win the hearts of SUV owners ready to go electric. With a quick charge and an EPA estimated range of 260 miles, the Volkswagen ID4 now eligible for a $7,500 lease credit. The ID4 electric SUV, see it at Post Falls Volkswagen. Injured in a car, truck, or motorcycle wreck? Call Russell and Hill, Attorneys at Law, where real people with real injuries get real results. Injured in a car, truck, or motorcycle wreck? Get real results. Get Russell and Hill. So, how's the menopause going? Unexpected rage, hot flashes, exhaustion. Big fan. Here's to being tired all day. And up at night. Said no woman ever. Estrovan relieves major menopause symptoms. This summer, happiness is a new Chevy. You can go farther, tow more, and bring along everyone you love. Your road to happiness begins in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab LT Turbo Max pickups or get 4250 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. Rough day at work. It's about to get a lot worse. You didn't plan on a disaster, but you have a choice on who restores it. Choose the best. Wind, fire, water damage, and more. Tell your insurance company you choose Burke's Restoration. The accused serial killer under arrest. Next in Sub Edition. What we've learned about the architect named in the notorious Lost Girl serial killer investigation. Clues from his past. Then. We're calling the police because you're, you're harboring our cat. The wackiest neighbor versus neighbor feud ever over a cat. I guess they thought we were trying to steal their cat. Watch the next in Sub Edition. Watch 4 News now at 6 and Inside Edition at 7. An update to breaking news we brought you at the top of our newscast. Take a look at the fire burning near Ritzville, about an hour west of Spokane. Crews are dropping water. Dispatchers say the fire is under control. Another fire is burning a half an hour west of Spokane near Fish Trap. 520 acres have burned so far. And Spokane County Fire District 3 says the fire has jumped south of I-90. The fire is prompting level 3 evacuations, which means get out now. Evacuations for the community of Tyler. 4 News Now's Allison Martinez is at the fire scene. Allison. I'm here at the fish trap exit in Lincoln County where that wildfire has been burning this afternoon. The good news is Lincoln County Fire Department says that the fire progression has stopped. Thankfully, we've seen actually several fire vehicles that have been leaving heading back to Spokane County. So that's great news. However, the one thing you can still see is that smoke that is burning on either side of I-90. So if you're driving, you're definitely going to be enduring that on your drive home. So just make sure you're staying focused and alert on the road. Now, evacuation orders are still in place at the current moment. DNR says that these will ease up as we move later into the evening. But for the current moment, those level three evacuations are still in place. Now we'll keep you updated as we go throughout the rest of our evening. Reporting from Spokane, or reporting from the, sorry about that. Reporting from the fish trap exit in Lincoln County. Allison Martinez for News Now. Back to you guys. Thank you very much, Allison, and so good to see that the firefighters have gotten a hold of that fire, considering the conditions are still very uh, critical. We've got gusty winds, dry conditions. We have a weather alert day for fire weather and a red flag warning that continues all the way until 11 o'clock tonight. Winds will gradually die down this evening. But as you could see from that live report from Fish Trap, the winds are still really going through the Columbia Basin and right on into Spokane. Here's a look at our current winds. We have 30 mile per hour gusts in Spokane. That's out at the airport on the West Plains. But even as you head into Spokane Valley, we have 28 mile per hour gusts, 28 mile per hour gusts in Moses Lake. And we'll continue to see those through the evening before those winds will die down late tonight. And they will. Here's a look at our forecast wind gusts by 11 o'clock tonight. Wind gusts will generally be less than 20 miles per hour, and then those will continue to decrease overnight. Expect much calmer conditions for Tuesday. 
Otherwise, on Tuesday, we are going to have a cool start to the day. One of the coolest mornings we have seen since the middle of June. We'll be in the 50s, warming up to high temperatures in the mid 80s, actually a couple of degrees below average. That is not the trend. We have got a lot of hot weather to tell you about in the seven day forecast. I'll tell you all about it in just a few minutes, Aaron. Chris, thank you. Just last week, we told you about the record number of women returning to the workforce. And those numbers from the U.S. Labor Department are a rebound after COVID forced many women, especially moms, to switch careers or stop working to take care of their families. New at 6, I talked to women in Spokane about the obstacles and surprising opportunities they found. <laughs> it's a typical Tuesday morning at Mirabu Point Park. I know my story isn't special. Mom of two, Melissa Lynch, and her toddler, Liana, are meeting us at the playground before nap time. I know my story isn't special. My story's probably like everybody else's, but I don't know. I wanted to reach out and tell you guys my story. Before baby, Melissa worked as a cook. And like most moms, her life now. Then COVID hit and it kind of shut every, excuse me, Liana, <laughs> is a constant balancing act. It really changed everything. The pandemic left millions jobless. Melissa knows that firsthand. I really like the restaurant industry, but it was just really hard because it was so unstable, except for like the fast food industry. And so I was kind of lost. She took a new job at a grocery store where she met her husband. And after baby Liana was born. This is my job now. <laughs> I didn't know she was even coming. About 15 minutes from the park, we stopped in to talk with job seekers at WorkSource Spokane. I'm going to send you a Zoom link. We're going to troubleshoot your technology before your interview. Cody Mazura works specifically with veterans like Mary Richardson. Mary is applying for jobs, competing for interviews, and navigating the online job search. The employers, they're so specific about what they're looking for. They want every single thing tailored to the job. Um, yes, resume is it's a different animal. What do you think has been the biggest challenge for you in this time of trying to find a new job? Learning how to redo my resume and cover letter. They actually brought up how you use ChatGPT or AI to, you know, plug in your resume, the job description, and kind of get it that way. Mary lost her job of 16 years during the pandemic. Having that confidence, you know, I mean, being somewhere so long, I was confident there. With the unemployment rate sinking to 3.6% in June, the Labor Department reports a record high number of women ages 25 to 54 working or looking for work at 77.8%. That work may look different post-pandemic. For Mary, the next step is getting her bachelor's degree at Whitworth University. Melissa reminds us again that her story isn't special. In fact, she says she's lucky to have this time at home with Liana. Time she knows is fleeting. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself now. I'm going to be staying at home with her, and then my work history is jumping from here to there to try to survive after COVID. I don't know what's going to happen after her. In Spokane, Kirsten O'Connor, 4 News Now. Well, Washington drivers are hurting at the gas pump. The state has the most expensive gas in the country. Lawmakers blame new legislation that's meant to limit carbon gas emissions by adding a carbon tax. They are now calling on the Department of Ecology to back off regulations to help lower those costs. 4 News Now's Marissa Rio went to a local gas station to see how this is affecting the community. I'm here at a local gas station and here it costs $4.59 a gallon. That's over a dollar more than the nation's average. I spoke to lawmakers about what can be done to lower those costs. It's hard on my pocketbook, but I use credit card rather than cash, so <laughs> that works. Senator Chris Gildon and 43 other lawmakers sent a letter to the Department of Ecology last week. The letter outlined ways the agency could lower costs immediately. They are still waiting for a response. Very simply, if you add costs 
um, to manufacturing and the oil refineries are a manufacturing process, those costs are going to get passed on. You see that in, in everyday life with any kind of manufacturing mm -hmm. is you look at other states um, near ours that do not have these types of tax programs, cap and trade or cap and tax, uh, you're not seeing those increases. The Department of Ecology says that legislation isn't the only reason gas prices have increased. You know, the ultimately supply and demand will, will set those prices and then, you know, regulations and uh, our carbon policies, those are gonna be factors, but they're smaller. The spike in gas prices have drove locals like Wagner away. I regularly go to Idaho to fill up because I have uh, I have uh, stores I can visit in Liberty Lake or the Valley, and that's not too far from Post Falls. Wagner said he only pumps about twenty dollars worth of gas here in Spokane because it's too expensive. In the meantime, you can save on gas by paying with cash instead of card, joining a grocery rewards program, or filling up on Sunday or Monday, which are usually the cheapest days of the week. Reporting in Spokane, Ramirez Rio, for News Now. Some good news for parents with infants hoping to steer clear of RSV this winter. The FDA just approved an antibody to protect newborns from the respiratory virus. It is not a vaccine. It's a ready-made antibody that can bind to the virus and block it from infecting healthy cells. And it's given as a single injection before RSV season. A CDC advisory committee will vote on the approval next. And if the agency signs off, the antibody will become the second one available to protect young children against RSV which is the leading cause of hospitalization in infants in the U.S. every year. Prescription drugs are getting more and more expensive. Now some people are delaying prescription refills, reducing their dosage, skipping medications, and even taking pills from someone else. A 2022 survey shows that one in five adults aged 65 and older are not taking their medications in the right way. For many, that's because they're too expensive. Though there are solutions. Some people were able to stick to the correct medication regimen when their physicians talked to them about medication price and gave them cheaper options. Others were able to use coupon cards, asked for free samples, or went to pharmacies with lower prices. College tuition is skyrocketing and average wages are not keeping up. And that has university students across the country stressing out about how they're going to survive. It means uh, I really can afford food <laughs> and gas. Um, I typically, for me, I don't get financial aid. This is part of a nationwide trend. Between 1980 and 2020, the average price of tuition fees, room and board for an undergraduate degree increased by 169%. And according to a report from Georgetown University, that rise far outpaces wage increase in the same time period. So what's driving up the cost? Experts point to increasing faculty salaries, increasing competition, and decreasing state funding. It's a perfect storm for families where the tuition has been growing, grant aid has been lowering, uh, and they are being asked to make up the difference. For anyone aiming to pursue higher education, the Institute for College Access and Success suggests always looking at federal aid and scholarship programs first. Up next, as the Northeast deals with heavy floods, the rest of the U.S. battles a lethal heat wave. We'll show you how severe weather is hitting the nation. Well, if you grew up in the 80s and 90s, you remember the throwback uniforms the Seattle Seahawks wore. Now they're making a comeback. Coming up in sports, Alex Crescenti has a preview ahead of Wednesday's big reveal. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Rebath Spokane. At P1FCU, we're all about celebrating your wins. Like finding a great parking spot. Yes. Or winning the lottery. I won! I won! Your wins add up, just like earning 3.50% APY in an Ascend checking account. So let's celebrate the wins together. Coming up! Open your account at p1fcu.org forward slash win. P1FCU, your community, your credit union. Set summer in motion with the most adventurous Honda vehicles yet, like the Pilot and Passport Trailsport, and the Ridgeline. Built for better off-road performance and engineered for more adventure. This summer, create your own adventures with Honda, the most awarded brand in car and driver 10 best history.
Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning is your family-owned and operated number one HVAC contractor in the Northwest. Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning would like to introduce our own carbon reduction program. Buy a new energy-efficient furnace from Bill's Heating and receive a heat pump with installation absolutely free. No hidden fees, no conditions, no exceptions. Buy a furnace, get a free heat pump from Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Call today for estimates and repairs. Coeur d'Alene Casino presents the Core Stars Entertainment Series. Join us as we celebrate our 30-year anniversary with an amazing lineup of the hottest entertainment. See comedian Jeff Foxworthy on Thursday, July 27th. Don't miss an evening with Night Ranger on Thursday, August 24th. Plus, join us for King of the Cage on Thursday, September 14th. For tickets, visit the Casino Box Office or CDACasino.com. Coeur d'Alene Casino, welcome home. Next ET. Oh, hell, the queen. Let's go. Our Queen Latifah exclusive, what she's revealing about girls' trip to. I'm just ready to laugh all day. Next ET. Watch 4 News Now at 6 and Entertainment Tonight at 7.30. The Inland Northwest is in a housing crisis. Will saving the American dream of home ownership mean reimagining it? Watch The Inland Northwest Housing Crisis, a 4 News Now special event, Wednesday at 6.30. One thing that may have been a little bit of a help to firefighters today was the cooler weather. We were 15 degrees cooler today than we were yesterday. This is our 24-hour temperature change around the region. 20 degrees cooler in Winthrop, 16 degrees cooler in Pullman. We're in the 80s and even the 70s in many locations. 82 the high in Spokane, actually below average. Our average high is 86. This number only gets one degree warmer. That will happen later this week, and that will be the warmest time of the season climatologically, and that continues through the beginning of August before that number begins to drop. We started the day off at 64 degrees. 58 is our average high. We'll be much cooler than that tomorrow morning, but then another warming trend kicks off our temperature trend for the next four days. We go from a little bit below average to above average to quite a bit above average for Thursday and Friday. Not quite record territory and no triple digits in the seven day forecast. We haven't had any yet. 97 has been our high so far. We could get 98 later this week, but there's more hot weather in the forecast. Now this is looking out eight to 14 days, July 25th, all the way till the end of July. Uh, above average temperatures throughout the Northwest. And of course, boy, that heat dome that is just roasting the desert Southwest. They are still in in the dark red through the end of July. Precipitation, a chance of below average precipitation. We're in the driest time of the year. So if we're a little below average for precipitation, it's not a huge loss. Uh, we're talking about tenths of an inch of rain, but any rain would be welcome right now. Meanwhile, speaking of the heat dome over the desert southwest, just want to show you high temperatures today. And that Phoenix once again made it above 110 degrees. This is now uh, day 18 tying the record of days consecutive 110 degrees or higher. They may break that consecutive streak later this week, but they uh, are nowhere near uh, looking at cooler conditions uh, for the short term. And uh, as I showed you there in that 8 to 14 day forecast, there is more extreme heat on the way. Here's a look at the number of 90 degree or higher days we have had in Spokane. And so far, we have been right about average. One in May, that's what we had. Two in June, that's our average. That's what we had. We have nine by average in July, so far seven. However, there are a lot more 90 degree days in our July forecast. So I think we're gonna beat that nine and uh, too early to tell what August holds. And so with all that hot weather talk in mind, I want to show you the lows tonight. Ah, oh, 
the coolest weather in almost a month. 40s in Deer Park and Spirit Lake. Cheney and Spangle in the 40s will be in the lower to mid 50s through the I-90 corridor around the region. Look at all the 40s in Winthrop, Colville, Sandpoint, Pullman, and 55 in Coeur d'Alene. High temperatures tomorrow will be in the 70s and 80s in most locations. Couple of 90s on the map and then we unleash the heat in the seven day forecast heading up into the 90s Wednesday staying in the 90s through the seven day forecast without a drop of rain to tell you about and our overnight lows going from 52 degrees uh, tonight into well more than 10 degrees warmer than that in the forecast Kirsten Chris offering us some very valuable perspective there especially with those desert highs that they're experiencing in the southwest right now. Yeah, temperatures in Death Valley topped 128 degrees on Sunday. That's pretty miserable, but some people just had to go see it for themselves. Uh, it gets pretty hot in Las Vegas, but never 120. So I said, you know, I would just want to go to a place sort of like Mount Everest to say, you know, you did it, you climbed it. So when I realized it was going to be over 120, I came out the first day. Phoenix topped 114 Sunday, the 17th consecutive day over 110 degrees. Here's a look at ABC's primetime lineup tonight. Download the 4 News Now app today. Are you ready to unleash the power of productivity? Get ready for the ultimate workhorse, the Kubota BX Series tractors at Adams Tractor. With a powerful engine, versatile attachments, and compact size, these tractors can tackle any job with ease. For a limited time, Adams Tractor is offering a special deal, zero down, 0% APR financing for up to 60 months. Don't miss out on this amazing offer. Visit Adams Tractor today and unleash the power of the Kubota BX Series tractors. We have loads of tractors in stock. Get yours now. The combination of fun and performance is why Kylie and I are excited to show you the Subaru Crosstrek. The all-wheel drive Crosstrek offers an available 2.5 liter Subaru Boxer engine, giving you extra performance and power unlike anything on or off the road. There's no shortage of space for passengers and a surprising amount of cargo room for your gear. The Crosstrek has an 8-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay connecting you with your favorite apps and navigation. Check out the Subaru Crosstrek and receive no problem customer attention at Parker Subaru in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. You heard what the doctor said, right, Dad? These pain meds, they're no joke. And this, it's an opioid. They can be very addictive. But I need my strong pain medicine. I know, Dad, I understand. Just make sure you only take what the pharmacist said. And keep it in this locking bag from the pharmacy so it's away from the kids. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I'll put this in the locking bag. Yeah, I appreciate you. Protect the people you love from opioid misuse. Lock up your medication. For over 65 years, McVeigh Brothers has been on the cutting edge of the newest technologically advanced products sold. We're now offering triple pane windows, custom colored windows of your choice, and amazing mini blinds between the glass that will last a lifetime. Spokane's hottest music. Break me fun, so done with you, girl. Hey. I've been, I've been, I've been man, I feel just like a rock star. 96.9. The factory-supported summer RV show, July 27th through 30th at the Spokane Fairgrounds. Beat the rush. Preview units. And get pre-show pricing now at r, r RV in Liberty Lake in North Spokane. Every RV at r, r RV is show-priced now. Some units up to 50% off. Save thousands on remaining 2022 models. r, &R RV is your RV superstore. Why wait? Get pre-show pricing now at r, &R RV in Liberty Lake and North Spokane. Or shop now at r, &R -R -V Par, family owned since 1930. Go where the builders go. What are you going to build? Well, we may have the FIFA World Cup coming up later in the week, but this past weekend, the eyes of the world's most popular sport were focused on one place, South Florida. That's arguably the best player of all time. Lionel Messi officially arrived in the United States, and he has created quite the frenzy announcing back in June that he intended to play with the MLS squad Inter Miami. And it's not like he's just joining the league at the twilight of his career. The 36-year-old is coming off his first World Cup with Argentina last year. He won the Ballon d'Or recently as 2021, and now he joins the likes of David Beckham, Dier Henry, and Zlatan Ibrahimovic as some of the best players from around the world who ended up playing in America. 
we here and uh, and and Lionel just decided, you know what? It's going to be the United States. It's going to be MLS, and I think this will continue this transformation process that will lead up to the World Cup in 2026. That you know, the United States is a soccer nation. Major League Soccer is driving a lot of that momentum. Fans and uh, and global energy will now come look at what it is that we have here with this project. Now, the Messi effect is very much real. If you were hoping to catch one of his games this season, good luck, because there just aren't many tickets left out there. The first chance you may get to see him is this Friday against Cruz Azul. That's a League's Cup match, not MLS. And even though there isn't a guarantee of him playing, the lowest tickets are $300. And then his first MLS game is going to be on August 20th against Charlotte. That is sold out out here on the West Coast. There is still some seats to see him play against LAFC, but those are going for a minimum of $450. That is Taylor Swift-like numbers. Now, the bad news for fans here in the Pacific Northwest, if you root for the Portland Timbers or the Seattle Sounders, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to see Messi play in this region this year as Miami isn't going to be playing those squads for the rest of the season. But I imagine tickets are going to go fast when the schedule for 2024 is released. And staying in the Pacific Northwest, the Seattle Seahawks won't open up training camp until next week. But today, the organization putting out quite the tease as the highly anticipated throwback uniforms are set to be revealed on Wednesday morning. Seattle donned those classic blue and white unis from their inception all the way up until 2002 when they switched to a more modern look. And then again in 2012. Now the uniforms will make their season debut in week eight against the Cleveland Browns. As of right now, that is the only game they're going to appear in this season. And checking in on the Seattle Mariners as they start a three game series with the Minnesota Twins. It is all tied up at 0-0 in the first inning. We're going to have post game coverage coming up for you later on Nightside. 4 News Now, we'll be right back. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Did you know that Spokane Hyperbaric Center uses oxygen to reduce pain, inflammation, and swelling? I didn't know that. Did you know that hyperbaric oxygen therapy promotes new blood vessel growth, fights infection, and releases more stem cells from your bone marrow? I didn't know that. Would you like to know if Spokane Hyperbaric Center is the right choice for you? Go to hyperbarichope.com to find out. Spokane Hyperbaric Center gave us hope. And, and now you know. Get $200 when you open a new checking account with Horizon Credit Union. When you bank with us, you'll get expert guides to help you on your financial journey. A pathfinder. An advisor. A teammate. A guardian and peace of mind wherever you're headed next. So, if you're ready for a better banking experience, sign up in branch or online with the promo code GET200. Horizon Credit Union, your path, our purpose. This summer, happiness is a new Chevy. You can go farther, tow more, and bring along everyone you love. Your road to happiness begins in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab LT Turbo Max pickups or get 4250 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. Coeur d'Alene Denture Clinic is locally owned and operated and has been providing personalized, comfortable, and satisfying care to our clients for over 30 years. Our licensed denturists are trained in the latest techniques in the construction, development, and preparatory work of a denture. Full dentures, implant attachments, repairs, fittings, adjustments, we do it all. Every denture is made to look as close as possible to your natural teeth. With our knowledge and friendly staff, competitive costs and quality of service, you'll leave Coeur d'Alene Denture Clinic smiling. From the very beginning, we've been taught safety is very important. It's an act of love. When we're on the road, every action we take gets everyone to a safer place. Each of us can make a difference. Slow down. Ride sober. Get endorsed. Get training. Alone, we are strong. Together, we are stronger. And together, we get there. 4 News Now is brought to you by Move Fitness. And here is your seven day forecast. I encourage you, if you like it cool, to enjoy tomorrow morning. It's mm. going to be a crisp start, high tomorrow of 84, and then the heat returns. Oh, yay. 
Now, when you say morning, <laughs> uh, you, you, it'll be warm by the time we're up. <laughs> we're on the night crew, after all. Uh, but um, I'm sure there's people that rise and shine who are watching right now. <laughs> Maybe we'll wake up. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Keep the fan on, stay in my room, hit snooze. Not worry about it. Yeah, keep the windows open tonight.